Welcome to Rooster TV, and this week we are joined by Monika Mendes. Not Mendez. Yes, that's right. <laughs> who is our events and sponsorship manager at the football club. Monika, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No problems. Uh, firstly, the uh, the footballers had a buy on the weekend, so they've had a, uh, a week off to recharge the batteries, except for two of our young guns in Connor Rosie and Oscar Chapman, who were part of the SA side in the under-18s, who beat WA quite convincingly yesterday at Albert and Oval. But I uh, thought it was a good opportunity to... Grab Monika, who looks after all our functions uh, off-field, to uh, get her in for a chat and talk about what's coming up on the calendar for the uh, North LA Roosters. So, uh, firstly, Monika, yes. um, how have you found working at a football club? Um, it's been challenging and a lot of fun as well, because I do um, love working in sport, so that helps a lot. And we have a good bunch here, always ready for a good laugh, bit of a chat hmm. and everyone always helps out which I obviously when I do events I do need an extra pair of hands just like you know moving stuff around setting up so which is good and also in terms of just like being a part of the footy club has given me a lot of opportunity just to meet new people learn the sport a lot more I must must say I think you're getting better okay <laughs> When you first started, Monika was uh, not quite up to speed with uh, a bit of the AFL uh, the terminology, yes. I suppose, but uh, she's starting to get the hang of a few things and That's starting right. to run some very good functions. So, um, for, uh, What's coming up on, on the calendar? We've got uh, the gala luncheon in a few weeks' time. Yes. Do you want to take us through that? Yes, of course. So we have our gala luncheon, and this year we've themed it around a secret garden theme. So um, it's on the 24th of June, Sunday, at the National Wine Centre. So it'll be um, a different event. We're trying to, um, even with the dress attire for this time, it's a lounge suit attire with a touch of pizzazz. So we do ask the players, the guests and everyone to bring their you know, whimsical side to the event. Okay. And yeah, so do you have your outfit ready, Dan? No, no, I'm, I'm a pretty stock standard kind of guy, so I'll probably be uh, just using a plain pair of slacks and a shirt, but I'm, uh, I'm sure there's a few boys out there in the playing group that'll, uh, that'll come prepared. I think uh, I'll nominate uh, Mara Solikans, Max Thring, Mitch Clisby and Louis Hender, I reckon, will be the four that usually Fancy. come prepared and, and have probably already got their outfit ready. Yes. Um, and I'll throw in a smoky with Alex Barnes. I reckon <laughs> Barnes, he'll probably wear a turtleneck, <laughs> like as he did year. last year. So <laughs> they're, my, they're my top five for this year for, for best dress. Yes, so, and yes, we do have um, prizes for the best dressed male and the best dressed female as well. So, which is why we want to make it a bit of, a little bit of fun. And um, we, of course, have our major and our silent auction items going as well. And we have quite a good variety of major auction items, which we hope that the guests will appreciate on the night. Yep. Yeah, excellent. And um, other than the gala luncheon, um, moving forward, have you got any other uh, events in the pipeline? Yes, we do. So we are having our sportsman's luncheon and we haven't done one for a while, I assume. Yep. And um, we have confirmed a date for that, which is the 20th of July. But we are yet to confirm who the special guests will be. So definitely stay tuned for that. And we also have our multicultural round, which is themed around Sri Lanka, because my nationality is Sri Lanka, so I have a bit of expertise in that area, which is on the 17th of June here at Prospect Oval. And afterwards, we'll have our Best and Fairest, which will be at the Ellington on the 5th of October. Okay. The 7th of June, big day, that'll be a big day at the footy club if we've got multicultural around with the uh, Sri Lankan dancers. We'll yes, have, at uh, half time. There's a past players day that day, yes. which um, we're starting to get some good numbers looking like coming to that. And hopefully, if Mitch Clisby can get through this week unscathed, it will yeah. be Mitch's 100th. So hopefully that will all tie in and be a great day and a, and a win for the Roosters, hopefully. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, and just a bit, bit about yourself. Um, Off-field, you're um, a, bit of a bit of a rugby player. A bit. <laughs> Part-time? Yes. Um, so I did give it a go last year, 
with the Rugby Sevens, which was my first time going to contact rugby. So in the past, I've played touch rugby. So there's a massive difference <laughs> on your body as well. Yes. Especially being able to take the impact, but it's good fun. Yeah, it makes me toughen up as well, which yeah. is always good. Nice, nice. Especially have you, have you, have you told have you told Josh that uh, you know if the boys are getting a bit soft, you can get some tackling practice in for them? Or? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Put so your yes. hand up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Without Josh doubt. will keep that one in mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, anything else that you're doing off field that would um, be of interest to anyone? Um, I'm not sure. Bit of study. Bit of study, yes. So um, I've just begun my second master's. So starting that off and with you as well, study yes. buddies. Study buddies, yes. We're, yes. That starts, Helping uh, each other. Starts very, very soon, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. So get, get back into studying. So I haven't studied in about six years now. So that'll be interesting to yep. see if I'm able to do that Even still. Again, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, I suppose with the functions coming out, especially the gala luncheon, if uh, the people out there are keen to come, how, how do they book their tickets um, yes. through yourself? Yes, through myself. So you can either call the reception, the NFC reception, and the girls at reception can take your bookings. And if you had any queries, by all means, you can either email me or you can get my details by calling the reception. And yeah, any queries that you have, by all means, just don't hesitate to call. Yeah. And one last one, I was just, uh, just saying Terry Howe walked past the yes. door over there and give us a wave, so he, uh, he caught my attention. The uh, President's Group, they do a fantastic, uh, fantastic amount for the football club and they've got a meeting tonight, which I've been asked to stay back and lock up for, so okay. um, we'll have to make this roll a bit longer. But, uh, um, yeah, they, they have home match luncheons at every, every home game, yes. um, which is um, coordinated, I guess, by our great mate Johnny Neville, who doesn't, right. doesn't mind a phone call or, or, or a club visit. So, how do they? How are they all going? So it's all going really well at the moment. So we've had um, quite a few of our home match luncheons, which we've had good. We've themed it this year as well. So the president's group thought the best way forward was to actually theme each of the luncheons with having either be guest speakers coming, just to you know mix it up a bit. Yep. So which makes it interesting for the guests attending as well, because we do have usually a lot of our guests who come for almost all of the home match luncheons. And so far it's going really good and we are hoping to get a good crowd for the game versus the Centrals on the 17th. So hopefully that will be a full luncheon. Excellent. So even to book for that, by all means, please contact the reception and you can, the girls can take your payments and tell you a bit about what, what we'll have on the day as well. Excellent. Well, thanks, Monika. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. That's a great rundown of what, uh, what's coming up at uh, Rusaland Offfield. Um, obviously, back on field this week after the bye, as mentioned earlier. Massive game for the football club. The June long week weekend clash with Glenelg on Monday down at Glider Isle Stadium. Uh, three big milestones this week if they all get through training. Maxi Thring going to be suiting up for his 100th game as the uh, club captain this week. Uh, Robbie Young and Cullen Wilkie will be also playing their 50th. So. Can't wait to get down there on Monday and hopefully we see all you red and white supporters there for a uh, big win for the Roosters. Thank you. Thank you.